hello guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here remember to subscribe and to hit the notification button so today we are going to make crepes uh, I know most people call them pancakes but there's a difference between this and pancakes so as you are going to see uh, here are the ingredients they are listed in the description box below so I also have these teaspoons and cups that I use to measure so they go for around 200 bob in the supermarket you can get them and they will make your life very easy so let's get started so we have two eggs we have vegetable oil this is the kawaida oil that you use for cooking but you can substitute that with melted margarine or butter then we have sugar and vanilla essence then you're going to add the milk so you can use milk or water but i would advise to use uh, milk or maybe half milk and half water then we are going to whisk this for a minute or until everything is well incorporated then we are going to add the flour so let me tell you now the difference between pancakes and crepes so crepes are usually very thin pancakes are thick Crepes do not have baking powder or baking soda, but pancakes have baking powder or baking soda, and that's why they tend to be thick because they rise because they rise. Eh? Then in crepes, the liquid is usually more than the flour. Like in this recipe, we are using one cup milk and the quarter cup flour. For pancakes, the liquid can be equal to the flour or slightly less. So also the butter should be very smooth. You see the way this one is smooth and running. Now, so let's get to the cooking. So you're going to heat a bit of oil or you can just brush with a brush. But if you're using a nonstick, you can skip the oil. You have to decide there. I just love using oil. I find that, I find that it makes the crepes a bit more crispy so then you're going to add the butter the way i'm doing and then you're going to swirl the pan so that the butter is evenly distributed and you end up with a very thin butter so cook the bottom side for like two minutes until it browns and the top dries up and then you're going to flip and cook the other side until it starts to brown again Then fold it and transfer it to a plate. So for this other one, I'm not going to add any oil to the pan. And it is still going to come out. Okay. So the trick here is, as you add the butter, you swirl your pan. And make sure that it is evenly distributed and it is very thin. Once the top dries up and the bottom starts to brown you flip and you cook on the other side you can also use butter like you can add butter to the edges it's going to give you those crispy edges and they're usually very good So we are going to do one more with butter and or actually you can use even margarine it's still good as usual add the butter swell the pan until it's evenly distributed and it is very thin and if your butter, that is the crepes butter, is smooth, you are not going to have any lumps. So make sure that the butter is very smooth. Whisk until it's very smooth. And we are done. And they look perfect. So you can serve this for breakfast, chaya sakumi, 
or anytime you feel like you want some so thanks for watching remember to like to share and to subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye